Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Krona, your host on Intellect Digest, and today we have with us the Zolo Play 8x 1100. This is the latest phone in the Zolo Play series and comes with a lot of power and specifications. It is packed with performance, comes with an octa-core processor. In this video, I'm going to quickly take it out of the box and show you all you need to know about this phone. We'll talk about the design, build quality, box contents, what's under the hood. We'll talk about the button placements, display quality. We'll give you a camera test, video playback test, audio playback test, gaming and benchmarks, which is most important for this phone. This is a Play series phone. We'll also talk about the call quality, internet browsing experience, software version, user experience, etc. But before I do that, I'll quickly run you through the quick specs which are mentioned on the box. So it comes with an 1.7 gigahertz octa-core processor. A 5-inch high-definition display. It comes with 13 megapixel plus 5 megapixel rear and front cameras, respectively. So fairly loaded when it comes to cameras. 2 GB of RAM, so equipped for gaming with a lot of RAM. There is gyroscope, accelerometer, magnetometer, proximity ambient light sensor. It works with 3G, 2G, USB OTG support is also inbuilt. It comes with Zolo Secure and Power Anti-Theft softwares. It is powered by Android KitKat 4.4.2. And has a 2100 milliamp battery. So now let me take this out of the box and show you how the phone looks like. What all it comes with. The one that we have here is a white colored unit. It's a mid-range device. Comes in a price bracket of close to 15,000. Some devices which come close to this in terms of specs include my Micromax Canvas Nitro, which has been recently revealed. Some other phones with octa-core chipsets include Alcatel, uh, Idol X Plus, uh, there are a few more including the Canvas Knight and the Geoni eLife S 5.5. So this is the phone itself, the first thing in the box, let me show you how it looks like. It looks fairly premium, very nicely built, it looks really smart, there is a screen guard or some sort of protection which has been installed so i have just got rid of it this is the plastic which was supposed to protect the display it feels fairly sleek and slim finished nicely in black and white you see this white touch here and this black here and it nicely merges black and white and gives a really cool style statement to this phone there's a speaker mesh over here i'll give you a design review very soon so let me check the box contents first and then we'll talk further it comes with a premium leather cover which has been bundled and this is a window cover which is very interesting. So if you are looking for something really stylish, it has a small window inbuilt where you can accept or reject the calls, have a glance at the information like notifications and who is calling. It fits nicely with the phone and uh, you will have to remove the back cover to put it on. So it's a complete back case, comes with nicely finished leather texture as you can see here. Nice cutouts for cameras and everything like ports and secondary mic for noise cancellation. So this is the next thing and we have a screen protector which has been bundled right in the box. So we have some documentation here, quick start guide, warranty manuals. We have a USB OTG cable which has been bundled which is neat. We don't have much uh, phones which come with USB OTG cables. So we have seen one with Geoni Live series and this one also comes with USB OTG cable. This is a big plus, you don't need to hunt for accessories even. You get USB OTG right here in the box. By the way, it comes with 16 GB internal memory, but if you want to access some more media, you can carry it on a pen drive, carry this cable with you and watch your movies from the pen drive directly. This is a standard USB cable and you also get a large battery. This is a 2100 milliamp battery and this is a lithium polymer battery lithium polymer batteries are technically more advanced compared to the standard lithium ion batteries so it's a plus and we have two more things here this is the standard wall charger and this one comes with a one ampere current rating so it should charge your phone pretty fast and we have earphones let me show you the earphone quality as well we'll talk about the sound quality in the sound quality review section where we test the audio so this is a quick look at the earphones, they come with flat cables, anti-tangle, nicely finished earphones, uh, they come with the in-the-ear types. They also have 
inline microphone pretty neat comes with a small tiny button with which you can accept or reject the calls and you also get variable size cushions so if you have smaller ear canal you can swap these you also get a larger size the medium size is already installed here this is something which i really appreciate most in the ear earphones in the low end and mid end do not come with these extra cushions and it's hard to find these cushions separately so these earphones are really good quality i'm really happy with the kind of accessories they have delivered in the box the phone really looks premium and feels very premium and comes with premium accessories like screen guard usb otg cable nice earphones that come with extra cushions so let me remove everything here from here and get back to the phone so here we have the zolo play 8x1100 with us this is a 5 inch high definition display that we have got here and the back is removable let me figure out how to take this out so there is an indent so the back comes off and under the hood you get two sim card slots sim 1 and sim 2 they are both micro sim card slots and you have a memory card expansion slot sim 1 is uh, 3g capable and sim 2 is 2g capable so and the SAR values as mentioned here is uh, 1.6 watt per kg this is slightly on the higher side from what we have seen with other phones let me pop in the battery boot it and while it boots i'll show you the hardware and one thing worth mentioning here is that we have two speakers here as you can see here so it has stereo surround it really has two different speakers and speaker grills over here and you have a speaker mesh which covers the same you can also put this flip cover instead of this standard back cover and use it with this window cover accessory or this flip cover it just makes it look really nice and premium so let it boot and i'll quickly show you the hardware and design on the right hand side you have the power or wake up key as you can see here this is uh, fairly tactile in feel it's white in color you have the volume rocker on the other side this is again white in color on top you have a 3.5mm standard audio port on bottom you have charging port and primary microphone hole as you can see and on the rear you have a 13 megapixel camera which comes with autofocus there is flash you also have secondary mic hole for noise cancellation Zolo branding both on this cover and uh, the flip cover and this cover comes with a stylish looking speaker mesh and you also have a rectangular speaker mesh cut within the leather very nicely and very premiumly finished and as you can see this window accessory works pretty well it has some magnetic sensor so when you close it it gives you this small display which shows you date and time in case you receive a call you can accept or reject it from here directly this is a very cool accessory and you do not get such accessories and windows accessory for many phones and it comes within the box so you don't need to spend another thousand or fifteen hundred bucks to get something like this you also have volume rocker markings onto the cover so it is right onto the button which is here so attention to detail is exceptional so i have not seen this sort of detailing as well as quality in phones in this price segment this comes around 15,000 rupees and is really really premium on the front you get this 5 inch high definition display on top you have a 5 megapixel camera which is a front facing camera so you can take high quality selfies this is a standard earpiece there are some sensors over here in the bezel and under the screen you have three touch capacitive buttons and they are backlit buttons as you can see they are nicely designed with dotted kind of texture let me quickly set up this phone and get back to you and we'll talk about everything that you need to know including gaming benchmarks audio video playback and we are back with the zolo 8x 1100 after setting it up quickly we played with this phone for a while and we found some very interesting things about this phone first thing is that it comes with gorilla glass 3 protection so what you see on front here is a gorilla glass 3 this is a steel scissor and as you can see it is not making any impact this glass is fairly tough and does not get scratched easily although you also get a screen protector which is bundled within the box but you may not need to install it at all if you keep it carefully enough it comes with gorilla glass another very cool thing it comes with is the screen of gestures you can set various gestures for various actions for example if you have to quickly check emails just draw an e and you can attach this gesture to your email application it will directly open email application once you do that there are multiple gestures like this i have attached the screen up gesture to camera screen down gesture to music and while the phone is in off mode or sleep mode you just swipe it on the screen and it opens up directly in that application it's pretty cool and this is something which you don't find in 
low end smartphones this is 15000 rupees phone and you get these features in premium phones like the Oppo Find 7 which cost close to 40000 rupees so this is something really cool you get the school accessory <clears throat> which comes with a window so when you have this on you see your notifications here it's showing me there is one message it's showing me uh, uh stuff like that information time date etc so comes with a lot of premiumness bundled now let's move to our next test which is the camera test so this phone comes with a 13 megapixel camera and you can unlock to camera messaging directly from the lock screen so just swipe here it opens up in the camera this is a 13 megapixel camera and performs really well it comes with a lot of features and again it is loaded with some really innovative and cool features so this is the normal mode in which you can take pictures with hand gestures using the hdr mode you can take better pictures there is also something which they call live photo mode in which it will click a picture of what all you have been doing while posing so it is saving this photo and i'll quickly show you how it saves and how it you know save such photos it is something like what we see on htc 1 m8 the zoe effect so it shows you how you captured the frame and this is the picture which you finally captured so it takes a very small uh, video sort of sequence when you click a picture this is also something called motion tracking in which it will capture the motion of a certain object which is moving in the frame and it will create a gif sort of uh, effect so this is the motion capture which i did uh, using a small ball on my desk this is the ball which is in motion and as you can see it is capturing multiple locations in the frame and creating a gif this is something like animation shot that we see on the samsung galaxy high end phones and this is not it you get much more options like this features like this let me get back to the camera application and show you so apart from that you have face beauty mode panorama mode and internal 360 which is pretty cool when it comes to video recording you can put it in fine mode in video quality and it will record in full high definition yes we have tested full high definition video recording and it works there is also electronic image stabilization or eis you can turn on or turn off the microphone while recording there is also a time lapse video option in which you can set the time lapse duration and create time lapse videos just switch to the normal mode in case you want to take normal pictures this is a gesture shot so when it detects a v gesture it will take a picture so it's pretty cool when it comes to camera the camera quality output and the performance is pretty cool there is also a 5 megapixel front facing camera so let me quickly show you that as well so this is the 5 megapixel sensor camera and it also comes with gesture so i can just show it a v gesture it will give me 3 seconds to pose and it will take a selfie and this is a pretty high quality camera on the front this is a 5 megapixel cam and captures a lot of detailing in the image uh, it can show me everything very clearly and the clarity and resolution in the picture is very high so when it comes to camera it's a thumbs up from us we really like the way the camera performs on this phone next thing we going to talk about is the display and the touch screen response the display is pretty good and the color quality is natural i have turned it to automatic brightness you can turn the brightness higher if you want and it becomes really really bright so you can actually use it in outdoor the touch screen responsiveness display quality etc are all very good i'll show you more about the display responsiveness in our gaming section which is following very soon so before we jump into gaming let me show you the video and audio playback so i'll start with the video playback i'll stream a video from our channel from youtube and show you how well it streams this is a 720p high definition display what we have got here the audio is loud and the viewing angles are exceptionally good as you can see very steep angles the display is still visible here is the spice dream uno these both phone it is rendering the graphics very well the images are coming out to be really bright and very clear this 5 in 720p it's display is doing an exceptional work over here there is also speakers mesh down here which has two internal speakers so the audio quality is also very good let me play again and they are exactly the same they both come with a 4.5 inch display which is 4 so this is the video quality and i'm impressed let me show you the audio quality now i'll quickly go to the music player app and play a 
an audio on loudspeaker turn the volume to maximum The speakers are fairly loud but there is one big design flaw with this phone is that there is no protrusion here to prevent the sound from muffling so if the audio is playing on speaker and you place it here like this the sound gets muffled very considerably apart from that there is no problem with the speakers they sound really amazing i'll also talk about the earphone quality i have tested them with the FM radio as well as inbuilt music player and they sound really well the quality of audio coming out of these earphones is very clear is very loud and the bass and treble have a very good balance here it's fairly punchy sound coming out from these earphones so i really love the way it performs when it comes to audio or music so in terms of audio also we give it a thumbs up now let's jump to our next and very important section which is gaming if you are spending uh, around 15k on a zolo play series phone you must want to play some games it is part with an octa core processor has 2 gb of ram it's fairly equipped when it comes to gaming and it comes with mali 450 gpu and the gaming performance we tested briefly before this gameplay and we are impressed so i'll quickly show you a gameplay demo here on video again just to give you an idea we are playing frontline commando 2 version 3 this is a very graphics heavy game requires precise touch input so it will give you an idea of touch accuracy as well as an idea of how good the display is the viewing angles are excellent you can see the display from steep angles so it's pretty good when it comes to viewing angles in this round we have to shoot some snipers out here so i'm trying to locate it's very accurate when it comes to locating or aiming at these uh, targets one target down there is a missile attack so we need to change position quickly another enemy sniper down and we clear this level very easily so in terms of gaming i am very impressed let me quickly show you the benchmark scores as well just to give you an idea how it fares against the competition we tested it on antutu benchmark version 5 and we got an excellent score of 30000 plus this is something really impressive so this phone does not lack in terms of power and performance it comes with 2 gb of ram 1.7 gigahertz octa core cpu so you have eight cores of cpu at your disposal when you are gaming or doing intensive application there is 16 gb of internal memory and you can add 32 gb additionally using a memory card let me quickly show you the storage as well so in storage settings you can see you can also set the default write location to sd card which means you can move apps to sd card and there is a provision of adding an sd card and to move applications just go to apps open the app which you want to move to sd card and hit this button which says move to sd card it will move all the app data and other files to sd card let me also talk about the call quality a bit so i have tested it uh, for both outgoing incoming calls and i have tested it on speaker phone as well as on the earpiece and i have found the quality comes out to be really good the speaker phone is fairly loud the signal reception is fairly good there is no problem when it comes to network reception or call clarity let me show you the internet browsing experience as well which is another very important factor one interesting thing which i notice here is that it does not come with the chrome browser inbuilt so uh, you can use the browser which is inbuilt which is the default browser alternatively you can also install google chrome browser from google play and it is very easily available it is free of cost so it does not take anything let me search our website and open it quickly as you can see the browsing is pretty fast we are on a 4 mbps link here and uh, it's rendering the website 
pretty okay. The scrolling is smooth and fluid. The text is clear and legible. And you can pinch to zoom. The clarity of text as well as images etc. both are very good. The rotation is good and you can add multiple tab tabs if you want. You can open multiple tabs and windows. So this is our YouTube channel. It's loading pretty fast when it comes to the browsing experience. The phone does not give any sort of problems. So the internet browsing experience is also fairly pleasing here. Now let me come to another very important feature of this phone, which is the software and the user interface. In terms of software, it comes with Android 4.4.2 KitKat, which is not the latest. The 4.4.4 is latest, but this is just a minor version before that. So I don't mind. It is almost the latest Android and it is not customized heavily. Only a few things have been added. There is no blotware here. We have only installed a few application. It comes with some Zolo application, which is Zolo Secure, Zolo Play Zone and Zolo Power, which optimizes the battery path. It also comes with Google Now, which is the voice recognition engine by Google. What's the weather like? It's 34 degrees with Hayes and Delhi. So it works seamlessly. There is no problem. Additionally, you get one thing that you don't get with many phones, which is smart gesture, which I just demonstrated to you. So you can set these gestures. So for example, drawing an O on the lock screen can open certain applications say I want to uh, open FM radio by drawing an O so all I need to do is when my phone is in off mode or sleep mode I just draw an O here it detects my input and opens the application which I have attached to that function so it, it is launching FM radio similarly I can launch the music player I have attached it to the down arrow gesture and it takes me directly to the music player saves me a lot of time for example if you whatsapp a lot or facebook a lot you can directly attach gestures to those applications and access those applications right from the lock screen, sleep screen and directly enter those applications saving you a lot of time. So in terms of software and user experience, we again give it a thumbs up. In our test, this phone has performed excellently. It has given us a really impressive feel. It feels very premium, looks very nice, gives very good picture quality, has very good audio, a nice display, good for gaming, gives high quality benchmark scores and is no way inferior in this price segment. You hardly get this value in 15,000 rupees. You get premium accessories like a leather flip cover, which comes with a window accessory. So you get uh, these sort of notifications, etc. You get direct call, accept or reject here. These premium accessories if bought separately will cost another thousand or two thousand bucks. These premium in the earphones, uh, you get the USB OTG cable. A very good looking phone comes with Gorilla Glass 3 protection, a 1.7 GHz octa-core CPU. So the list is fairly long and the price is very limited around 15,000 rupees. It is also available for some deals on Snapdeal when I'm making this video. It may not last longer. I'll leave some direct links in the description section below. If you want to purchase this one, you can check out the links in the description as well as I'm leaving some links on your screen. This is one of the best phones I have seen in the 15,000 rupees price segment. When it comes to design, performance, build quality, audio quality, display quality and gaming performance. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you press the thumbs up button and like this video. Share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. For more such videos from Intellect Digest, make sure you press the subscribe button. This is your host Rohit Khurana signing off. Thanks for watching.